Hi, I just wanted to go over how to solve a two-step equation that may look like this. So very quickly, just a brief video here. We see a two-step equation because it takes two steps of algebra solving to solve this. One thing that I always say in class, of course, I just want to remind us again, uh, this is not meant for us to look at and then do it in our heads and then we do something on paper that kind of fits with what we think should be done that we did in our heads. This is simply looking at a problem. We don't know the answer. We don't know the solution, which is the value of the variable here. And we're just going to follow a step-by-step -step process on paper, and we're going to find our answer, uh, our solution to the problem uh, in the end. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, I see right here the variable is m, and it's part of a term, right? This is the variable term for m. Uh, there are two terms on the left side of the equation right here. So we have 4m, that's a term, and then we have a constant term, which is the 5. So we want to first get rid of the constant term. We want to end up with the variable term over here. So I want to say, uh, I, want, I want to do something on the left side of this equation so that the answer is going to be 4m. In other words, I want to undo plus 5. So what do we do to undo this plus 5? That's my first step right here. So we would do our inverse, which is subtract 5. Now you can write this whole thing out and then just say minus 5. Um, or you can simply say, I'm subtracting 5, I'm going to write it underneath. What you're not doing is you're not changing this. You're not changing this to a subtraction problem. You're not doing anything like that. You are taking the problem that you see. I'm taking 4m plus 5 and I am doing another thing to it. I am subtracting 5 from this. So I'm not changing anything. I'm simply doing something to the left side of that equation. My answer to this problem is going to be 4m. So now what do we do on the right side? We do the exact same thing. We subtract 5 from 43. So negative, I'm sorry, negative 43. So negative 43 minus 5 is, of course, I'm going to take it one more step, is the same as negative 43. Let's change this to an addition problem plus negative 5. Okay, that might make it a little bit clearer. So negative 43 plus negative 5 equals negative 48. Now we're down to a one-step problem. One more step and we'll have it solved. And this is where we want to isolate the variable. So I need to do something on the left side so that my answer is going to be the variable. I'm going to divide by 4 which is the inverse of multiplying by 4. So I just do the inverse on both sides of the equation. My answer on the left side is m. My answer on the right side is negative 12. And we can check our answers. 4 times negative 12 is negative 48, plus 5 is negative 43. That's correct. Let's go ahead and just take a look at another problem. So here we have uh, negative 4x plus 7 equals negative 35. Let's do the same thing. I, here's my variable term, and I want to isolate the term and get rid of or undo plus 7. So why don't you write this down, pause it right here, write this down, and solve it the way you know, the way that we described it, and then we'll compare our notes and see how you did. All right, well, hopefully you wrote that down and you solved it. So here's what I would do. So I have this. Now remember, I'm not changing this. I'm not changing it to a subtraction problem. I'm not doing anything. I'm not changing anything. I am doing something to it. So I'm taking negative 4x plus 7 minus 7. So I'm going to subtract 7 from the left side and subtract 7 from the right side. I'm leaving the x term alone. I'm not touching that because I want that to be my answer over here. I'm isolating the x term first. So this is 0 here, and my answer is negative 4x, and my answer here is going to be negative 42. Now it's time to isolate the variable. So we would undo multiplying by negative 4, and we divide by negative 4 here. So once again, we have two math problems. We have a left side math problem and a right side math problem. On the left side, the answer is x. And on the right side, the answer is a positive number. It's a positive 10 and 2 fourths. All right, let's do one more here. This one's a little more complex, so go ahead and pause right here, work this out, and then we'll see how you did. All right, well, my variable is m. 
My variable term is right here, 2 thirds m. So I want to undo the constant term first. Let's get rid of that. So we're going to add 12 to this right here on both sides. Notice I'm not saying I'm going to add m plus 12 or anything like that. I'm just adding 12 to the left side and I'm going to add 12 over here to the right side as well. I'm not really necessarily lining these up perfectly or anything, but you can on your paper. So on the left side of the equation, my answer is 2 thirds m. And then on the right side, I work this out, I get 16.8. Okay, well let's keep going here. We have another step. We, we want to undo this multiplying by 2 thirds. So the fastest, best, easiest way to do that is to, I'm going to change colors here too. Let's multiply by the reciprocal. Flip that fraction, multiply, leave that multiplication there. And this will equal 1. So our answer over on the left side is just going to be m. And our answer over on the right side, well, let's work this out here. It's going to be multiply by 3, divide by 2. And you can, you can do the same thing here, put this over 1. Honestly, what I would do is to, I would take 16.8. Now you can do this either way. You can go ahead and multiply by three, get your answer, then divide by two. Uh, I think it's just kind of in my head. I'm going to divide by two here first because I know that's kind of easy. I'll get 8.4 and then 8.4 times three is going to be 25.2, I think. So our answer here should be 25.2 and we can put it back in our equation and check it uh, to see if we get the correct, see if we get 4.8 as the equation would say. Um, that's it, that's a two-step equation done in several different ways, different examples here. Um, so that's it, thank you, bye.